Now, before I can go in and start talking about Fluent CRM, the main reason why I really switched to Fluent CRM is the pricing. Now, take a look at Active Campaign. Now, this is one of the most uh, powerful platforms out there, which has automation and so on. Pretty much what Fluent CRM does. But take a look at the pricing here. I mean, this can be quite expensive. So for 5,000 contacts, you can see here it's 79 per month. But in my case, because I have 6,000 contacts, this would be about 139 per month. Now, let's take a look at ConvertKit. Same thing. You know, it's 99 a month, but as you start increasing, you can see here, it starts going higher and higher. Now compare this to how much I'm paying right now for 6,000 subscribers, and that is a whopping $5.70. So as you can see, this is super, super affordable. And for those of you that are starting an online business or have an online business, you can see how this can save you a bit of money as you're starting off. So that's the first thing that I really like about Fluent CRM. Now let's move on to the next one. So over here, let's go to Fluent CRM's dashboard and take a look at the UI. So first of all, when you take a look here, you can see that this is you know quite simple, but at the same time, it can be very confusing until you take a look over here on the right. So you wanna make sure that you create a tag, you import your contacts, you create a campaign, you create an automation in this order. If you don't do it in this order, it's gonna be very confusing and you're gonna find yourself struggling with using this software. So let's take a look and see how easy it is to add our tags. So let's say I wanna add a tag. You can just come over here on contacts and just click on tags and you can give your tag a name. So in my case, I wanna click here on this plus button and call this subscribers. So that's all I need to do. If I hit update, I can now automate my customers or my subscribers by using that tag alone. Let's go ahead and let's take a look and see how our contacts look. So if I come over here on all contacts, Fluent CRM has something really special here. It's called contact segmentation and they've made this advanced. Now, let me show you what I mean. So when I click here to activate uh, the advanced filter, we can filter our contacts and specify what exactly we need to show here by clicking on this plus button. So we can filter with say WooCommerce and say, I want to filter based on purchased products, okay? So if there's any purchased products here, you can just type them in and it will show you everyone that has bought that particular product. Uh, you can also do this using so many filters. Let's say uh, you, want, uh, you want a different one. There's also LearnDash. So if you're running an online course website, if you come over here to LearnDash, you can actually filter based on groups, based on enrolled courses, uh, based on first enrollment date and so on. So as you can see here, this is super powerful. And as you add other software on it, those filters will be added. Now let's move on to the next part. And that is how Fluent CRM really works well with WooCommerce. So when I come over here to WooCommerce and take a look at my products, we are able to add a tag based on the product that a person has bought. Let me show you how. So let's say I come over here to product one and click on edit. Now I've already gone ahead and uh, created a, a tag called product one. So if I scroll down here, you notice that we have an entry called Fluent CRM. So if I click here, I can actually say, okay, you know what? When uh, a successful purchase happens, I want to add a tag called bought product one. Now, as I mentioned, I already created this tag. So once you're done with that, you should create another one called refunds. You can also add the refund tag over here. Now, as you can see, this is super powerful because if someone had bought a product on your site, or so maybe let's say it's a course and you refunded them, how are you going to track that? Well, this is where Fluent CRM and WooCommerce uh, automation really works because as soon as a tag, a refund tag is applied, you can have an automation which then un unenrolls that person on a particular course or on a particular membership. Or if it's a product, you can stop them from having access to that product just based on that tag. So you can see how powerful this is. I'm really passionate and super excited about this. In fact, I don't think these other email platforms actually do this, you know? All right, so moving on. So when you're done with this, all you have to do is to pretty much just save this and the automation starts that way. Now let's talk about sending emails. So over here is where we have our campaigns. I'm gonna click on all campaigns and let's say I wanna create a brand new one. I'm gonna click here on this plus button. So this can here, this can just be a test one. Right, so 
this here is super important because this is where we get to create our email. So to create your email here, we have different uh, templates. So we have uh, plain centered. We also have uh, plain left. So there's different types. I mean, I just stick to this one here. So you can start by typing in here, but you're going to notice something very, very interesting here. If you use Gutenberg, you're going to notice that this actually uses blocks. So let's say you want to add a button. So you can just type your button here and add it. And then over here on the right, you can then start customizing it, right? So if you click here on this plus button, there's also other things that you can add, like for example, an image. And then you can also use your image library by clicking here and then choosing your image. So let's say that's the image I wanna use. I just added my image there and you also have all your controls here and you can also use this to resize this and just make sure it's the size that you want. But if, like I said, if you're a Gutenberg user, you're going to find this really, really exciting to use because all the tools and all the uh, features that you have in the Gutenberg Builder are pretty much in here. Now let's go ahead and click on continue so you can see other things that are really in this. So over here, we also have A-B testing, which is fantastic. You can test your headlines. So you can say headline A versus headline B. And the priority here is 50-50. So the one that gets more action is the one that uh, ends up being the one that is chosen. You can also add your pre-header here. And let's move on to the next part. And this part here is very exciting because this is where you get to decide where your email is going to go. So over here, by default, you can just send them to all the emails. So all my contacts here will get the email, but you can also use our segmentation here to really drill down and uh, specify where you want this email to go. So if I click here on this drop down, we can say only bought product one, just like that. And that could be, where I want to send the email and this will update. But take a look here now. We also have the advanced filter. So this advanced filter goes even deeper into the segmentation. So if I click here on add, just like what we had before in trying to find our contacts, we also have it here. So I can go in and say, right, I need to send this email to everyone that has enrolled to a specific group or enrolled to a specific course. So as you can see, this is real power. And not only does it work for, for LearnDash, it also works for WooCommerce. So you can say anyone that purchased a specific product, right? You can then send the email to that particular group of people. So as you can see, we are able to send our emails pretty much wherever we want on our actual website. And this is super powerful from Fluent CRM. I really, really like the, uh, the addition of this feature. So once you're happy with that, all you have to do is to save, but we also have our dynamic segment here. So over here, you can say, okay, uh, WordPress users. So you can send your emails to WordPress users. So this dynamic segment is built up over time to make it easier for you to find where all your uh, segments are. Okay, so now let's move on to the next part. And that is, are reports. I really love these reports because one of the things that I really struggle with is trying to find how my company is performing, how my courses are performing, or how my products are performing. So this update in Fluent CRM gives us the ability to take a look at our reports. And straight away here, you can see that we have WooCommerce and this will tell us our total revenue, our total orders, and so on. Right now, I don't have any data here because I haven't sold anything, but all my top selling products will be shown over here on the right which is really good because that gives me a quick glance into what really is performing well. You can also compare this with uh, previous and current period, which means you have graphs uh, to see how things are working over time, which I think is really, really good. And you can also specify based on products. So if it's product one only that you want to have a look at, you can just select that and that will show here. And over here on the previous period, you can just go in and uh, get the data for specific points throughout the the whole calendar year. So this is advanced uh, advanced reports. You also have reports for LearnDash, which is super, super, super amazing. I really like this, uh, but before this can work, you, oh, you'd still need to uh, sync this data with uh, LearnDash. And uh, that's just by clicking over here and just saying sync LearnDash students. And once you do this once, Basically, all the uh, information from LearnDash to Fluent CRM is already there, which means all your data will start showing correctly. Now, let's move on to the next part, and that is 
automations. Now, this is my favorite, favorite part. I mean, this alone really gets me so excited. Now, remember, we created a tag called bought product one. So this is where the automations work. If you don't have the tags, it's going to be very hard for you to start an automation. So if I click here on this plus button, there are so many options here that we can use to start our automation. So I'm just going to say new customer for this one. So that's going to be my label. So I can say, okay, on WooCommerce, I want that when an order is completed, then run the automation or when an order is refunded, then run the automation. So in our case here, uh, this could be order completed, but also I want to show you what happens here in LearnDash. We can also enroll someone in a course. This is huge because before what we needed was a membership plugin, which then as soon as you buy the membership plugin, opens up access for that course. But with this update now, we don't need that plugin because this pretty much, you know, enrolls us into the course. So in fact, you know what, let's just do the first automation here by saying order completed. I'm going to hit continue. So that's how this is going to start. So I'm just going to say new customer here and uh, target products. I'm going to say product one. And then over here, if you want to add a category, we can, but I'm, I'm not bothered about the category. And then I can just say save. So this is now how our automation is going to start. So I can then say, okay, you know what? Let me add a conditional action. So I can say bought product two, question mark, and then hit save settings. So I can say, okay, this person here bought product one. So I'm going to check if they bought product two. If the answer to that is no, then I can add an email here. I can create a custom email, which is uh, an offer, maybe a 10% off. So this is an offer for anyone that hasn't bought that product. And then I can add my email subject here. So I'm just going to put some dummy text here and just say, okay, you know what? Save settings. So that's the email they will get. It's a 10% off offer. And then over here, if they've already bought product two, I'm just going to say welcome. So I can just create another email here, which then welcomes them to our shop. Or if you want to keep things very, very simple, you can just come over here and just say, you know what? After they've purchased a product, I just want to send them a welcome email or a thank you email. So this is where you come over here, send custom email. And this email now becomes a thank you email. It's at a smiley face there. So this is our thank you email. Okay, you add all your information in here. And then once you're happy with that, you can just hit save settings. So there we go. So when someone purchases this, they get a thank you email. And pretty much that's it. So you can actually go in and delete uh, this uh, option here on the bottom. Now, if you want to add more steps, you can just continue and add more steps. You can, let's say, for example, say, okay, you know what? I just want to um, wait maybe a day or two. So you can just add here a day, save settings. And then after that day, you can also send another email. But if you just want to end uh, this automation, you can just come over here and just say end funnel here, save settings. And basically, that is your funnel. So basically, what you're having here is a system that is working like your sales representative and also uh, someone who's working behind the scenes, making sure everything is delivered. So this is where the automations really, really come in. Now, before we move away from the automations, I want to also show you something very important here, and that is our stats. If you click here, you will be able to see all your stats. And once you activate it here, uh, this goes then live. So the next feature I want to talk about is, let's say you have an online course website and you want to automatically enroll people onto a course course. So this automation here is going to be super amazing because this has just been added in this latest update. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to come over here to uh, new automation. So I want that say when someone purchases a course. So I'm going to come over here and say uh, order completed. Let's call this buys a course. Right. So let's say someone buys a course, the order is completed. This is how our animation or our automation is going to start. So now I'm going to say target product. So let's say it's product one is a course. And then I'm just going to say save settings. So how does this work? So when someone buys a course, we can now go to this plus button here and say add action goal. So this is where now we can scroll down here and you can see here we have learn dash. So we can say enroll to group or enroll to course. So I'm going to come over here and over here I'll have my courses. I have a test course. So now they are going to be automatically enrolled without even me going in and manually doing it. So as soon as they buy the course in WooCommerce, they are automatically enrolled into course A. So 
I'm pretty sure you can see where this is going. This is super, super powerful stuff. I mean, I've already implemented this on my website, funnels to income.com because it has saved me a lot of time. I was having problems uh, where people were saying to me, I've just bought the course, but I don't have access to it. Oh, that used to drive me crazy. But now with this feature, man, <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I won't go on and on about it. Let's move on to the next part. And the next part here is in the settings. So over here on the settings, we also have what are known as smart links. So these smart links are super amazing because let's say I start by um, creating a smart link. I can, I can say, okay, you know what? The smart link I want is, let's say, an affiliate product. So I can add my link in here add a target, a target URL and apply a tag. So anywhere in my website, if they, let's say they're on my blog and they click a specific uh, link, that may show like interest in that particular thing. I can then tag them and then run an automation based on that. So as you can see, this is super, super powerful. So the example here I can give is, let's say I have uh, an affiliate product, like let's say Divi and someone clicks a button called Divi to just to check out how, uh, how Divi pricing is or whatever it is, I can then follow up on that and say, oh, this person here is interested in Divi. And then I can create an automation that then runs as soon as they click on that link, maybe perhaps trying to convince them to purchase Divi. Now let's talk about the email sending services. So over here, the email sending services that Fluent CRM is compatible with is Amazon SES, Mailgun, SendGrid, and so on. Now I have currently, currently tested Amazon SES and SendGrid. It is quite straightforward to, uh, to implement, but the easiest out of the two is SendGrid. I noticed that with Amazon SES, it's a bit tricky to set up, but you can have your emails up and running really, really, really fast. And the delivery is amazing. Okay, so when we take a look at Active Campaign and convert kits and compare that to Fluent CRM, we notice that Fluent CRM is way more powerful. Why? Because it is integrating more and more and more into WordPress. As the other platforms now, if we compare that, they're on their own and they don't really integrate. So they're left with just adding tags and um, automations, but, you know, remotely. Whereas this is super, super amazing. The other thing that I also want to mention about Fluent CRM is it is super fast. I mean, for something that is doing all these automations, you'd expect it to be, you know, quite slow, but the speed is amazing. I've been using this for quite a while now on my website, close to about, no, since it was released actually. So it's been a couple of months and I'm super happy with it. All right, so there's a few things that I would like to see added uh, onto Fluent CRM. And these things are number one on the conditional logic. Ideally, I'd like to see some conditions also happening here on this one branch of the logic. I mean, this would really help if there's other conditions that I may need to add in here, which do not only apply on this top level. So I know this feature is going to be coming uh, very, very soon, but this is something that I need to highlight as well uh, before you purchase a Fluent CRM. But they are very, very swift with uh, releasing a lot of brand new features and they do listen to uh, the customers. In fact, there's quite a lot of uh, features that I've uh, asked for, which were added uh, into uh, Fluent CRM. So I have no doubt that this will be added. The next one is RSS. Ideally, if I was to say publish a blog, uh, I would like to uh, see uh, Fluent CRM also send an email out to my subscribers and uh, or based based on the uh, automation to say, hey, this blog post is out so that I don't have to do it manually every single time. That will be huge. So the third thing is cut abandonment. We can see how powerful the integration is between WooCommerce and Fluent CRM. And this is super amazing. I don't think there's many products out there that really integrate very well as Fluent CRM does with WooCommerce. Why not just add cut abandonment? If they were to add cut abandonment you know what, this becomes super, super crazy awesome because all the data is there already. We can, we can even have an automation based on an abandonment. So this is something that I'm really, really looking forward to. And I hope it's something that will be added into uh, Fluent CRM. Now, the question is, would I recommend anyone to buy this? Absolutely. This is one of those products that is super, super important if you're a WordPress user, if you run an online business, or you want to just uh, grow your mailing list. 
there is no way you're not going to need this. Number one, the pricing is fantastic as compared to the other platforms, which I've just shown you. Number two, they're constantly putting out updates and they also listen to the customers. Number three, you also see that the features that are being added are being added on a regular, regular basis. So it's not one of those situations where you wait for months and months and months before updates are added. I mean, these guys behind the scenes, they are working super, super hard. So I really like the fact that the update cycle is very, very good. Number three, the software is super, super fast. I mean, you won't even see a lag on your website. Even if you test it, you won't see that it's taking any performance out of your website. This is super, super fast. And finally, I mean, if you take a look at this discount here, we see that there's a 40% off. This is a Valentine's a deal, but I also have a 20% discount when you purchase this using my uh, affiliate link in the video description below. So here you can see it's 100, 129 uh, for a single site and this is 249 for five sites. So this is really, really, really a bargain. Like I said, I've been using this for quite a very long time now and I really, really love it. So I highly recommend that you buy Fluent CRM because of the reason that I've just mentioned and I also use it. I would not recommend this if I didn't use it myself. So anyway, guys, that's my review and that's my take on Fluent CRM 2.5 and I'll also be doing quite a lot of tutorials. So if you purchase Fluent CRM, you will get access to quite a lot of the tutorials that I'll be doing on how to set up your email system on your WordPress website. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Want to save time designing websites? Download my free SiteMaker Divi template. It has a header, footer, a 404 page, and also buttons, text, headings, all pre-designed for you, giving you a professional working website right from the get-go. It is very easy to customize. It's 100% free. Link to that in the video description below. And if you haven't bought Divi yet, get 10% off when you use my link in the video description below.